framing addition or subtraction word problems. Hi, Starry. Oh, you have made such a colorful chart. Come, let us look at the chart and frame some questions. Tell me the number of red, violet and pink flowers, Starry. Good. There are eight red flowers, three violet flowers and five pink flowers. When we count the flowers together, we call it addition. Now let us frame some word problems of addition. Don't worry, Starry. You don't have to get the answers just now. We will only ask questions to frame the word problems. Fine? Okay, let's begin framing the questions. How many flowers are shown in all? What is the number of red and violet flowers taken together? What is the number of violet and pink flowers taken together? What is the number of red and pink flowers taken together? Hey Starry, we can also frame word problems of subtraction. In subtraction word problems, we use words like fewer than, less than, more than. Let us see some examples. How many more red flowers are there than violet flowers? By how many? Are the violet flowers less than the pink flowers? By how many are the pink flowers less than the red flowers? Good! Now let us revise what we have studied so far. Let us read the information and frame three addition word problems. Arun has five chocolates. Julie has seven chocolates. And Imran has four chocolates. Frame three addition word problems. How many chocolates? Do Arun and Julie have together? How many chocolates do Julie and Imran have together? How many chocolates do Arun and Imran have together? Now, using the same information, frame three subtraction word problems. How many chocolates does Arun have less than Julie? How many chocolates does Julie have more than Imran? How many chocolates does Arun have more than Imran? Good! Now look at this information and frame three addition word problems. Rajat has two toys. Honey has four toys. And Sanya has three toys. How many toys do Rajat, Honey 
and Sanya have in all? How many toys do Honey and Sanya have together? How many toys do Rajat and Sanya have together? Good job! Now frame three subtraction word problems for this information. Rhea has seven crayons. Raj has six crayons. And Arun has eight crayons. How many crayons does Rhea have more than Raj? How many crayons does Raj have less than Arun? How many crayons does Arun have more than Rhea? Good! So today you have learned how to frame word problems of addition as well as subtraction. Bye!